The landscape for all vehicles with engines is rapidly changing, and there is a clear change beginning within the motorcycling world, in this case, I am talking about transmissions, and electric motors. Good luck trying to purchase a new automobile anymore with a manual transmission, they simply do not exist. This trend has been going on long enough that many young drivers have never been exposed to a clutch. Carry that same lack of exposure over to the world of motorcycles and suddenly it becomes very clear the challenges facing new riders. This concept of a clutch and manual shifting is completely foreign. Of course, it is learnable, but it does create a barrier to riding. Hello, welcome to another video, if you are new to this channel, then don't leave without subscribing, it's totally free, and hit video like button, thank you. 6. Honda Navi The Navi is a small bike but like the Grom, it's perfect for any enthusiast who is looking for more than just a pocket bike. It's fun, agile, and with 109 cubic centimeters, it is a proper motorcycle as the V-Matic automatic transmission will move any normal-sized adult around the city. Don't be fooled by its mini stature as while it doesn't have a lot of power, all your basic motorcycling skills still come into play. This bike is not just a fantastic learning platform, but experienced riders choose this bike as they are cost-effective as they come. 5. Yamaha Zuma 125 Completely new this year the awesome Zuma 125, BWS 125 in Canada, uses a fully automatic V-belt transmission. Yamaha doesn't provide a torque figure but mated with this new transmission, there is always power right when you need it. The very design of scooters like this Yamaha provides a fun and easy platform for a new rider to gain skills. The seat is comfy and even has room for a passenger, and putting your feet flat on the ground is not a problem for even those of smaller stature. The entire machine has been beefed up and the tires reveal that you can easily take the Zuma on light trails. Even long trails are fine since this scooter is good for over 100 miles per gallon. 4. BMW CE04 The best part of life on two wheels is there is an option for everyone. The BMW CE04 is an edgy, all-electric, urban scooter perfect for new riders. The electric motor is good for 42 horsepower and will hit 75 miles per hour, but where it really shines is away from the freeway and making daily inner city life a lot of fun. Thanks to adjustable riding modes, stability, and traction controls, the CE04 eliminates many of the challenges new riders find when trying to adapt to a clutch and gear changes while in traffic. The look may not be for everyone, but as I said, there is a great bike for every rider. 3. Zero DS Zero has their electric motorcycles well sorted. The DS model is a dual sport, Go ahead and pause for a moment to marvel at the creative naming, and it offers an excellent all-around experience for a new rider. The twist and go nature of electric motorcycles makes for a simple learning curve for new riders, there simply is no need for a transmission or clutch. Stick with the standard DS, not the high-powered DSR. The DS packs 78 lbft of torque which is going to feel more than adequate. Overall the riding position on the DS feels natural and comfortable for longer rides, opening up the option of trying all those back roads and trails you have been curious about. 2. Honda NCX750X The Honda NC750X is a great beginner bike for the taller or heavier, or both, rider that wants to get into adventure-style motorcycles. It has a 745 cubic centimeters parallel twin with just about 51 horsepower, meaning it won't break any speed records, but it will also be very friendly to the newer rider. On top of that, Honda's larger displacement engines are much like their car engines, bulletproof. With Honda's very sleek DCT transmission attached, the bike takes on a more adventure touring style of riding when in the standard drive mode. There is a sport mode for a more spirited response from the transmission and throttle, but even then, it's not overwhelming. 
and the thumb operated toggle beside the throttle to switch it between neutral and the two drive modes comes directly into touch, without having to look down at the handlebars, keeping your eyes where they should be, on the road. 1. Honda Rebel 1100 are you a little surprised to find a 1,100 cubic centimeters cruiser as the first bike I go to? At first glance I fully understand, but there is some logic to this one trust me. When Honda introduced the Rebel 300 and 500, they found instant success. What came next was the discovery that roughly a third of these new owners were looking for an upgrade in power within a couple of years. In 2021 the Rebel 1100 was introduced. Now you can have a Honda with the cruiser look that riders love without having to own a massive air-cooled twin. For the beginner rider, it is the DCT transmission that makes this larger bike worth considering. The Rebel 1100 has four riding modes, three preset modes, one user mode, with three power levels, three traction control levels, plus cornering ABS, basically, this allows a new rider to twist and go with a lot of control. Now you have a bike to grow with, that will keep you grinning for years.